Hey Colin, Dave here. Just wanted to answer your question regarding how to create a subscription where the first month is a different price because of the setup fee here. And so uh, we're working on getting that custom. Usually there's a custom button over here to uh, get um, do exactly what you just said, but we pulled it off for a second just to uh, fix some bugs uh, inside Stripe and Pay Funnels here. So anyway, here's how you can go ahead and do this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a new invoice by logging in and clicking here, uh, typing in you know, the name of your service, Facebook ad campaign, and then what you're gonna say is $2,000 today. You know, you could say this however you want, $2,000 today, including $1,000 one-time setup fee, then $1,000 recurring monthly. You're gonna do a one-time payment and you're gonna charge the combined monthly plus the one-time setup fee here whatever that first payment is going to be you can uh, turn on you know advanced options you can redirect them to a thank you page or maybe to um, your blog or you know your website or whatever after this um, by putting the url in there change the currency whatever shipping billing whatever you want to, to allow in here uh, for the most part i don't really you know accept any of this stuff here i'll just throw in the url i want them to go to save the invoice it's going to create your little link for you here then obviously send them this when that pulls up. Um, they will get this invoice here from you. So $2,000, one time charge, $2,000 today. All you gotta do is enter their name, email, and it'll be taken to the uh, payment method on the second page. So once they do that, they're gonna come into your Stripe account. They're gonna be created as a customer in Stripe here. So you'll see them on here. And so all you're gonna do, if you want, once you wanna add on the recurring monthly payment inside Stripe, is click on the name of the person. Once the payment goes through here, you'll be able to see them on here. You're gonna come down and you're gonna to go to add subscription. Actually, I forgot, I need to go back. I need to create the subscription first. So to do that, you're gonna come over to plans. We're gonna create a new plan here. And so I just created a test one. So I'm gonna to go to new, and let's say Facebook ad retainer, Facebook ad retainer, let's say it's $1,000, interval monthly, we're not going to mess around with the trial here, and then this could just say, you know, the name of your company here. Anyway, I'll just do pivot and scale. Come in here, we create the plan. So these are all just kind of monthly um, subscription plans. So I'm going to come back here into customer. I'm going to open up this example one here. I'm going to come down to add subscription here. I'm going to choose the plan that I just created. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the trial date. So if I just added this right now, it would charge him this amount, this thousand dollars right now. But I'm just, I'm just going to go out a month. So here today is the 16th of November. I went forward here to the 16th of December. It's going to charge him this. This is all going to activate. Uh, right then here and so that's all you got to do here I'm not gonna add that I'm just gonna charge somebody that doesn't want to be charged that but that's how you do it so just create a one-time um, payment inside pay funnels have them pay that come in here create a new plan then go click on customer find the customer click add subscription and you'll be good to go and uh, we'll keep you guys posted when that functionality comes back here, but this is a, a fairly straightforward way to get around that. All right. Thanks so much, man.